I think if we just play our game and don't make mistakes, then we can play with anybody right now. But can they beat the number one team in the state? That is the question when the Spartans face off with Rochester Aquinas, who is that number one team in the state. And they face off in the state semifinals. Maybe there were some nerves for the Spartans early on in this one because there was some fumbles after a few of them by Maine and well, the big back Billy Lombardi breaking a big run down at the one sets up a touchdown run of his own a few plays later then. That's 7-0 in favor of the little Irish Maine and well striking back. It's the Spartans 44 breaking a big run of himself. Nurik Sorrenti breaking three. That's going to set this one up from five yards out. Sorrenti would not be denied. Barreling over Jaron Jones and a host of other little Irish fights his way into the end zone. Ties the game up at seven. This one is all knotted up at 13 points apiece with M.E. driving after they've just recovered an onside kick as they start the fourth quarter. M.E. looking pretty good here. Well, earlier in the day, it was a battle of number one and number two. Earlier in the playoffs, Tioga already knocked off the number one team in the playoffs. That was Walton trying to do it again today. Down 7-0, the start of the second. Letchworth trying to add on more. Cody Bennett blocks that field goal, but Tioga not able to use the momentum there as the Indians go on the attack. Chris Nevinger from nine yards out. His second touchdown of the day. He ran for 183 in the game. Tigers not dead yet. Tyler Spry's able to punch this one in. Tigers not going away. Under five minutes to go. Trying to recover an onside kick now is Tioga. It's a no-go. Letchworth able to hold on from there. Tioga's season is done in the semifinals. I told him before the game, you know, I told him I'm already proud of him. I don't care what the scoreboard says at the end, just to go out and, and play their hearts out, and that's what they did. Um, this is this is a, a great group of young men. I know each and every one of them are going to take something from this football season, and I know they're just going to grow up to be great, uh, great men and great role models. Well, this year's Tiger squad does not need to hang their heads, though. They've gotten farther than any other Tioga high school football team in school history. Well, coming up tomorrow, we have more Section 4 football games slated all day long, and they're fighting for state supremacy and for the right to go to the Dome. Kicking things off tomorrow, Waverly versus Southwestern. Both teams 10-1 and one on the year. That game kicks off at 11 a.m. The winner play, has the right to play Hoosick Falls and Dobbs Ferry in the championship in the Dome. And then in the nightcap, 6 p.m., Binghamton Patriots going against Orchard Park, the undefeated Orchard Park at 6 p.m. The winner going to play Shenandoah or Newburgh. The winner of that goes to the Dome for the right for a state championship.